Hi everybody, welcome back to Taz's Weight Closet. This is Taz. Today we're going to do something really fun. Um, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of specs today. We're going to have an amazing try-on experience. We're going to take a look at all of the John Renault blondes that I have in my collection, including the brand new California blondes. And I'm not just going to throw them out to you kind of willy-nilly. I'm actually going to present them to you in order from warm to cool. I am wearing um, my Julia by John Renault in the color Toasted Marshmallow 27T 613F. Now this is the warmest tone blonde that I have in my John Renault collection. You're going to find a medium red gold blonde shade and that's going to be highlight, highlighted and tipped with a pale gold blonde. And that pale gold blonde just really makes it very creamy in appearance. It doesn't look too gold. And I love how all of the highlights and tips really accent the shaggy layers of this style. There is a sister color to this uh, toasted marshmallow, and that is the rooted version of this color called Shaded Sun. 27T613S8. I have that on Scarlet. I'll be right back. So here I'm wearing the Scarlet in the Shaded Sun 27T613S8. Um, you're going to see that exact same medium gold blonde, red gold blonde, with that uh, those buttery light gold blonde highlights and tips. And the difference is this one is on a medium brown root. And sometimes rooting can change a color, have you noticed? Um, it really kind of darkens up the overall tone of the color, especially when you can see the root from all over the style. So I'm back wearing that January in that new Laguna Blonde. So the Laguna Blonde is a medium gold blonde, but it's really profusely highlighted with platinum. So it gives a nice buttery blend, don't you think? And all of that is on a light brown root as opposed to medium brown. Love this color. This color is the perfect beach blonde. Next, we're gonna take a look at another uh, warm tone blonde by John Renault, and that one is uh, 1426, which is Pralines and Cream. I'll be right back. I have that one to show you on Heidi. So here's Heidi in the color 1426. Then uh, that color is kind of getting into neutral, although these butterscotch blonde highlights really keep it firmly warm. Uh, this is a medium to dark honey uh, base color, but then you've got a lot of butterscotch blonde highlighting that really make it a warm color. Um, it's, not, it's not red. I don't see any red in it other than the, the amber color butterscotch highlight. very pretty color. And they, there is a rooted version of this one, which is the 1426 S10. I don't have that one to show you. Uh, next I have to show you is the John Renault Ignite in the color Creme Brulee, which is 24B22. So I'm wearing my brand new Ignite. Actually, it's not new, but it's, it's still in the box with tags. Um, this is the Creme Brulee 24B22. And I love the style and color. It's just beautiful. So we do have on that 24B22, we have a medium gold blonde base color. But then it's highlighted with a light ash blonde. So it's really trying to neutralize that gold blonde quite a bit. And it's a beautiful creamy blend. So I thought it would be a great comparison to make here with the 24B22 versus the 27T613F. 
Uh, both of them, neither one of them are rooted colors, and this was the warm one. You can really pick out the gold blonde, the amberish color um, in this toasted marshmallow. So we'll start our neutral blonde category now with the 12 FSA Shaded Praline. I have that one on the beautiful Rachel. Be right back. So I'm wearing Rachel in 12 FS8. 12 FS8 was my first blonde love uh, by John Renault. I had it in uh, on the Ignite first and then had it on other colors as well. I absolutely loved it. 12 FS8 is a dark gold blonde and it has uh, some lighter uh, golden brown at the nape a little bit. But what's remarkable, what really does it for this color is that 33% of this color or more is made up of these platinum highlights. So this really lightens and brightens the shade. It gives it a lot of dimension and it's just gorgeous. And all of that is on a medium brown root. I love it here on this Rachel. So here's the shaded sun color. You can see that rooting is about the same. So you'll see the, the red gold here of the shaded sun really kind of sticks out, doesn't it? Next to um, the, cooler, uh, the cooler shades here in the 12 FS8. Uh, next I have to show you is the brand new Malibu Blonde by the California Blonde in the California Blondes collection and that is a 12 FS12 versus the 12 FS8 technically. The only difference is supposed to be the color of the root. So let's find out. So this is so neat because this is the Heidi in the Malibu Blonde 12 FS12. So we're going to compare that to the 12 FS8 on Rachel. This is kind of neat because the Rachel is more the hand-tied version of this Heidi style. And the Malibu Blonde 12 FS12 uh, 12 is the lighter rooted version of the 12 FS8. So let's take a look at this rooting. So there is the, the number 8 medium brown root and the number 12 which is supposed to be the lighter brown root. Now even these two colors are, even though these colors are supposed to be the same, uh, this Malibu Blonde seems more uh, warmer in tone, doesn't it? It has a bit more of uh, the gold in it than I think the 12 FS8 does. Next, I'll present uh, Eclair, which is 24BT18 by John Renault, shown here on the Aaliyah Petite. So the Eclair is a light um, ash brown, so a very ashy base colored brown and then there's a lot of gold blonde highlighting there too, medium gold blonde highlighting. And I think that that medium gold blonde highlighting really warm up this color and when they do that, when they do um, when they do an ash, when a, an ashy base tone color and then they add in something warm, I think that appeals to a lot of us. And I think it's very uh, more universally flattering of a color. I like my ashy and I like my warm. And here I have them both together. But let's compare that then to the 12 FS8. So the 12 FSC is definitely, definitely lighter and brighter because of the, the platinum highlighting. This is not the rooted version. So shaded mocha, the 24BT18 S8, that is, this is the shaded ver that's the shaded version of this here Eclair. So 
we're starting to make the bin into some more of the cooler tone blondes by John Renault. So next up, uh, number three in their four uh, California blonde collections that we've seen so far. This one's called Venice Blonde, and it's the 22F16 S8. So we're going to show you the 22F16 separately, and I think this is one of those uh, shaded versions that don't even resemble the original 22F16. We'll take a look at that. Um, but it's a cool blonde, just a very light cool blonde, but then in it you have a lot of honey blonde in there too. And what's, what do we know about honey? Honey is more of a chameleon kind of a color. Um, when it's next to a cool blonde, it almost looks warm. So this one I think is really a very nice neutral blonde with a mixture of cool blonde and honey. And all of that is on a medium brown root. This is on the Mila. It's brand new. I'll be reviewing Mila. So now what I'd like to do is compare this one to the 12FS12 Malibu Blonde. So a mixture of some gold blondes in that Malibu. So you can really point out the cool blonde tones here in the Venice um, and the honey. So this one doesn't have any gold blonde in it. The Venice blonde does not. Um, there are gold tones, gold blonde tones here in the Malibu. And that root is also going to be a little darker than the Malibu. Now that we've seen the Venice Blonde, which is 22F16S8, let's go ahead and take a look at the very cool tone blonde 22F16, which is Blonde Brownie. I'm back. I'm wearing Meg by John Renault in the color 22F16. And this is not the rooted version, remember, we just showed you. Um, this is a medium to dark ash blonde and some very pale white ash blonde highlighting. So this is ash on ash, so it is a very cool tone. And Meg has been in the box for quite a while. I think I'll keep her out and wear her again now that the weather is getting a little warmer. I just love this little style. So you can see the, uh, the darker ash blonde in the back at the nape. <clears throat> and then the cool light ash blonde there at the front in the highlighting. So pretty. I love this little ash blonde. However, though, let's go ahead and compare it then to the 22F16S8 Venice Blonde. Um, very hard to see that this is the rooted version of this. And, it, and it's because this is ash on ash. And the Venice Blonde is ash on honey, which is more neutral. So you're going to see this is a little warmer in tone, the Venice Blonde, than the true 22F16 Blonde Brownie without the root. I would have loved to have seen that they uh, went ahead and just used the exact 22F16 and put a, a lighter root on it. All right, we are about to look at the very coolest blonde in the John Renault uh, Blondes line, and it's one of my absolute favorites. Be right back. You guessed it. This is the coolest blonde uh, in the John Renault Blondes, and the last one we'll review from the new California collection. This is uh, perhaps my favorite. This is Palm Springs Blonde, which is FS1701 S18. Let's break it down. So we have a beautiful ash blonde, a medium ash blonde base color, but then it's really heavily highlighted with an icy platinum. And all of that is on a very light ash brown root. Very light ash brown, almost a, a dark ash blonde. So everything, it's ash on ash on ash. And it's a very striking, soft, beautiful ash blonde shade. I absolutely love it, as you can tell. It's on Sarah. If you haven't noticed already, this is the, the John Renault Sarah. 
And so let me grab some of the other California wands to compare. So here's that Venice blonde. This is the 22F16S8. You can see that it's drastically, appears to be drastically warmer than the uh, ash tones of the Palm Springs Blonde. And the root is much, much different. In addition to being warmer, it's also much darker. So now I have the Malibu Blonde, the 12 FS12 with me here on Heidi. So let's do a comparison there. So some darker gold blondes and some platinum highlighting here on the Malibu. But the Malibu is much warmer in tone. Even the root really puts everything into perspective, doesn't it? So I'm back holding the Laguna Blonde. So the Laguna Blonde is the warmest of the four uh, new blondes released in that California Blondes collection with a uh, medium gold blonde and some uh, platinum highlights. So if you love warm blondes, the Laguna Blonde is going to be the warmest of that new collection. If you like cool blondes, the Palm Springs is going to be the coolest. So hopefully you've been able to see enough John Renault blondes that you'll be able to decide which one you want this summer. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.